Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly touch up a drill bit that has lost its sharpness or lost its edge. Right here, I've got a drill bit. Let me spin my little screen around here, make sure I'm in shot. Right here, I have a drill bit that has had a bit of a mess up right here on the edge. It hit a little hard piece of material as it came and punched all the way through a drilled hole that it was drilling on. And I need to take and correct this before I drill some more holes. Um, so, hopefully you guys can see that really well there. I think you can. Hopefully you can. Anyways, so I'm going to show you, without the grinder running, I'm going to show you how to take and fix this drill bit. And I'll walk you through the process, and then you just flip on the, the belt and go to town. First and foremost, you need to take and make sure that you keep the drill bit cool. If you don't do this, uh, it's going to end poorly for you. You're going to blue the edge, and it's just going to roll over again on you. So what you need to do is you need to have itself a little coffee can, something that you can, again, or a bean can or something like that, that you can quench the tip of this thing in and keep the drill bit cool. Secondly, if you can, run this at a lower RPM or speed. If you've got a fixed speed like I do, you just have to go lightly with your touching of the drill bit. The last point about this, or, or one of the last points I want to make here, is it's important to keep the original pitch of the drill bit. So you want to very lightly rock this piece on from the heel of the bit, back here, to the toe. That's what I want to call it. I'll call that the heel and I call that the toe. So you want to just hit, touch on the heel first and then work towards the toe. Touch on the heel, work towards the toe. toe. And what you want to be, do is make sure that you're keeping it in line in this direction or in this orientation. So if you see it right here, you want that to be flat and level. You want your flat there to be flat and level. So after you get that ground in, then the last part is, is to take and relieve the front edge. So if you notice on all your drill bits, go get a brand new sharp drill bit. You'll notice that the heel is relieved ever so slightly from the toe. This is to allow clearance so this way the back of the heel misses inside the hole for the chip. So this way it keeps cutting. You want to be cutting on the leaning edge only. You don't want to be binding on the rest of the surface of the bit. Again, this rear portion of the bit is just to back up the front edge. The front edge is what does the cutting. The rear portion just follows through behind it. So you have to keep that in mind when you're running your chamfer here. So that's just a quick tip of how to sharpen these. I'm going to click this on and sharpen it real quick. So now's a great time to take and put on some headphones, and we will go ahead and sharpen this bit back. 